Welcome to John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. We're perch hunting on the Bay of Green Bay. Fleet Farm presents John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. Fleet Farm, the ultimate fishing headquarters. Yes, folks, we're on the west side of the Bay of Green Bay, and we're with Tim Mahar. And Tim last year showed us a great perch bite. Today is January the 4th. Is January a good month to target these perch? Absolutely. It's It's been a pretty good month so far. Um, we got on the ice not that long ago, and it's building pretty good, and perch have been biting hot. A lot of guys are wondering about ice conditions out here. You had no second thoughts about bringing our Yamahas out. Not right here, but you got to be real careful because a lot of places is the ice isn't um, hasn't developed very good and got destroyed what we did have so you got to stay inside the bays the little bays and fingers um, don't get too brave always check the ice we're gonna have fun today we've got a great group of guys too we're gonna spread out and this is the flat and we'll find the perch right yes sir all right hey folks so show what we're using and how we're using it all of that coming up right after this Len Groom from Amsoil here, and we're talking about diesel fuel additives. Many people ask me, does Amsoil have product for diesel fuel? Well, we do. And today I want to talk about our all-in-one additive. It takes care of everything that you need in one dose. It cleans, it lubricates, it boosts your cetane, and it also keeps the fuel from gelling up in the cold. So you take care of basically all the needs in one dose. Check out the back of the bottle for the proper dosage for your tank. And for more information on any of our fuel additives, check out Amsoil.com. Hey folks, all my fishing buddies really love the new lightweight Jiffy Torch. Yeah, John, what I love about the Torch is I can connect it to a drill for super lightweight, or I can connect it to an electric powerhead if I'm gonna go pound a ton of holes in one day. This is a hex steel construction shaft, super durable, super lightweight, and it's gonna last year over year. When they added the ripper cutting blades to the Torch, that really finished it off. They're super reliable, been around for a long time and they always stay sharp. For more information on these revolutionary new products, go to JiffyOnIce.com. Hey, welcome back folks targeting jumbo perch on the west side of the bay of green bay and, and tim you know we got a lot of different things going today we got northern pike tip ups set out there we got tip downs for perch and you say jigging has been a good technique too huh yeah it's been pretty good lately got to be kind of erratic to get their attention and then hold her still and wait for them to thump it yeah two baits that i really like for perch are this uh, this acme uh tungsten cast master the cast master really works great and 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 you say you've got a tungsten Google eye there on there, but you're saying that the worms are better than the minnow heads? It's been working better for me the last couple of days, but each day is different. Hey, here we go, here we go. Whoa, look at that. Hey, that's a beautiful perch right there. Tim, come on in here, buddy. You're a Seneca, right? Yeah. And what do you use for these perch, buddy? Uh, right now I got on a slender spoon with a minnow head. A minnow head, huh? Yeah, you and I talked at the top of the program. You might as well try different things. You know, yes, I've, I've got the wax worm on there, but they both work, huh? Yes, sir. Each right. day is different. Each fish is different. Yeah, hold that one out. I mean, that's a beautiful fish. Now, Tim, is that above average? That's a pretty good size one. That's a little above average. That's a jumbo there. Tip down. Okay. Oh, can't hold that up, bottle shop, Matt. Now that jolly is what? How big is that fish, y'all? Oh, it's a nine, ten, maybe. Yeah, and you know, Brett, you're a good guy to talk to about this because, you know, you've guided a lot of perch in the summer out yeah. here. We should tell the folks uh, the little story about the bay. Twenty years ago, the perch fishing it was phenomenal. When I was a kid, it was amazing kind of got fished out, you know, and in years of low water, bad spawns, but it's really, really come back. Good regulations now, and the fishing is, is really good again. Hey, here we go. Let's see, what do we got here? There you go. 
Bob, you took my chair. I've been actually popping around. Uh, I've been popping around trying different holes, but we're actually fishing a big flat here. Is that what this is? Yep, yep. Just only about five, six feet of water. So are you basically you wait for these fish to come through or what? No, we're jumping around a little bit. Yeah. Try oh. to find them here. Oh, what a nice fish right there. And uh, Tim was saying you get some real big ones here, but that right there is a perfect eating size perch, right? I agree with you. Hey, here we go. I finally got one, and here he is. Oh, now that's not terrible, folks. Take a look at that, another eater size perch. These aren't the real jumbos that we caught here uh, uh, late ice last year, but they're still beautiful perch. And what we're fishing here is a big flat, folks, and it's about uh, five, six feet of water. And uh, these perch just roam all through here chasing bait all day. So that's not a bad fish. All right, here we go. Seneca fishing close to me. Ooh, that's a dandy right there. Look at that perch. You know, that's a beauty. And here you're just using a, a little yellow tungsten jig, huh? And Google Eye with a waxy on it. Yeah, I like those Google Eye tungsten. Now, you fish out here a lot, and Tim and I were talking before. This is basically just a big flat. So you, do you sit and wait for the fish, or? Keep moving, keep moving. I just, I was in this hole for maybe about five minutes and popped one been slow so you just keep searching oh look at that hey way to go there buddy yeah. and, and like i say it's only five six feet here hey but tim you know today is january the fourth and and you know as we look towards the the rest of winter fishing stay pretty good for the perch buddy absolutely you'll get some periods where you get a cold front or something that might shut them down but for the most part they bite all sun, all winter long Ooh, the tip down's going now i actually just caught a small one after the one i caught and this tip down is nice and oh that's a nice one there but these tip downs are nice because you can set them up all in the area there and figure out where the fish are biting right yeah and what do you put on for bait for these uh this was on a big fat head in a small golden shiner how far off the bottom about six inches to a foot hey jolly when you're ice fishing what do you need johnsonville yeah and i got a treat for you guys today these are johnsonville better with cheddars and the reason i love to cook these on the ice is that they're pre-cooked and they're stuffed with premium cheddar cheese 100 percent premium pork pre-cooked again all i got to do is turn them on the grill and make sure they're brown all right guys johnsonville better with cheddars what do you think doesn't beat a hot Johnsonville on the ice. You bet. What do you think? It's good. Isn't it good? Mm -hmm. Hey, folks, look for Johnsonville. Better with Cheddars at your favorite retailer today. I got one going here, guys. Coming, Jolly. What do you got here, buddy? I don't know. It's got a little weight. All right. Perks have been going pretty good on these two. How was your Johnsonville? Oh, that was good. Okay. I needed that. Ooh, he had a lot of line out there, yeah, buddy. Yeah, he was pulling. Oh, oh, wow. Oh my gosh, where do you guys see this thing? That's a good one. Did you just let him run a little bit? Yeah, yeah, you stake a line. A this is a perch peeling line. <laughs> that, that, yeah, I just kind of saw the thing. It almost looked like a walleye. Ooh, look at this guy. <laughs> now look at that, Jolly. That's hey, Tim, wild. come on down here. That, you got to hold that baby about. up. And, that's, and that's you know, <laughs> remember when we were out in the boat this summer, we got something like that, too? Yeah, we had a bunch of big ones this year. Now, these, these tip downs that you guys are using, that gives you the ability to, to fish a bigger range, Yeah, right? we got a, a, a whole bunch of them spread out here, and, you know, we're just kind of watching them and run as soon as they start tipping down. Now, Brent Jolly does not ice guide. I should I mention, not. you know, Tim, he gave He's it up. He's the ice guy. Did you know that? Yeah. Uh, but, no, <laughs> when uh, you come out this is the type of fishing you enjoy right yeah this is fun i love eating green bay perch they are the best eating perch i've ever eaten uh, so yeah when tim says they're biting i i definitely come fishing with tim hold that out yeah and tim does a great job guiding over here tim is awesome he's he is the man for ice fishing over he stays here. on him yeah nice fish sammy hey jolly come on over sam's got one now all right come on sambo oh there's another dandy these these aren't going to look as big though after the one you just caught, Jolly. Yeah, that was a big one. No, that's beautiful, buddy. That's a great eat. Yeah, I want to mention, too, you know, folks, if you want to open water fish these perch, you're actually doing guide trips, aren't yeah. you? Oh, yeah, I'm guiding for them 
all summer from May 20th on. Um, I do slip bobber fishing. We do drop shots. We jig for them. It's uh, it's a lot of fun. They catch them all summer. Ooh, see him on the screen? Oh, yeah. oh, lift oh, up. Oh, there he is. <laughs> it's so cool. Oh, there we go. Not bad. No, that's not a bad that's fish a at all. Look, what, what is that, about 10? 10. Yeah, that's a solid 10. That's and, a good eating. And part. you know, I love the, this Castmaster, and that's a tungsten with a, with a, with a single hook on it, right. which is great because, you know, you start catching bluegills in the wintertime and they get that treble hook and it's hard to get it out. Oh, yeah. I like the single hook. But why do you like about tungsten? Tungsten gets it down there so much faster, keeps you a tight line. Right. You know, that way you can feel that bite. You're always tight. It's, it's just a great, great metal to make a lure out of. Yeah, and that's a tungsten cast master. The first, okay. I think this is the first year they made them, but I really like them. Yeah, yeah they were good. Tip down, Jolly. Tip down. I'm coming. Ooh, this is getting to be fast fishing, dude. This is getting to be fast. Whoa, there we go. Let's walk up and show Ryan that one. It, this is this, this is fun, though, buddy. Yeah. And, you know, when we started out, we, we had to make a move. Yep, we had to make a big move. Open. We found them. Yeah, and you know, there's so many people out here too, folks. So it's interesting. You look around and you see guys not catching any fish. That's where you're not moving. Exactly. You know, you just kind of move around, find an open spot where people aren't. Right. And that tends to be where the fish are. And, and be careful running machines out here this time of year. Yeah. You know, you got to know where the channels are, where the soft ice is. And be quiet. I mean, not to spook the fish. Absolutely. You don't want to be running machines over your fish. We were fishing the Bay of Green Bay out of Ocano, Wisconsin, a two and a half hour drive from Milwaukee, three and a half hours from Chicago, and four and a half hours from Minneapolis. You know, Josh, you and I have been using Humminbird Electronics, gosh, for as long as I can remember. And the Helix 7, it's got GPS. Yep. Lake Master chip compatible. Yep. I like the little rod holders in the case, but also the different screens. Again, you got the... You got 2D. You got flasher mode and the GPS, and then you got your split screens. Everything in one unit. All in one package. And also, folks, you can buy the Helix 7 all-season unit, which you can use for the ice, and it also comes with a transducer that you can... Put on your boat. So, the same unit you can use on the ice, you can use on the boat. Use it all year round. Yeah, that's fabulous. Folks, you got to check out the Helix 7. Well, we had to go down a very dirty, dirty road today, and our boat got a bunch of sand, salt, and mud all over it and that can cause permanent damage to our boat but you have a solution we do have the solution it's called the aquajet johnson pump washdown system and it is the strongest psi washdown in the industry without having to haul any power washers down any hoses hook up you're using the lake water filtering the lake water leaving your boat completely sparkling clean wow i can't wait to get johnson pumped <laughs> Oh, oh, nice bass, <laughs> sound bullet. Let's pull that yeah. up, there you go. Oh my yeah. gosh. I'm living some bullets. This has got a little more weight. Oh, oh look yeah. at that. There you go. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah. See? Oh, All right, nice. Blake, look at that. I don't have time to jig all your tip ups. Were these called tip downs? Tip down. All right, ooh, I can see him on biting there. Yeah, there we go, Jollaru. And. Oh, yeah. Yeah, those are just solid perch right there. Yeah. And you know, I'm wondering, I know you're running cigar leader material, but you're running a real light. Yeah, about four pound. Four, four pound, pound test. Yeah. yeah, of course the the, the fluorocarbon they they can't see, but exactly. might as well go light, you know. Okay. No. You eat it pretty no. good. Solid fish. Yeah, These tip eater. downs are great. I just can't get over. It. You know, I've never used them until except for when you and I fished crappies a couple right. of years ago. Right. It's nice. You cover water. You cover a lot of water, and it's fun just watching them and running to them. Oh. There we go. Hey, Matt, look at that bottle shot, Matt. You know, these aren't the giants that you catch late ice, but uh, hey, Jolly, come on in here, buddy. Uh, it's so interesting when, you, when, you're, uh, when you're using your hummingbird and these fish come up. <clears throat> I, I've had them sky up and not hit. That time I went down and bounced the bottom a little bit with the jig, and he hit right on the bottom. Yep, that happens a lot of times. You stir up a little bit of sediment on the bottom. Uh -huh. Those fish just come screaming in and eat it. I mean, yeah. Are you going to eat that? I will eat it. Oh, Jolly, another one for the glass. And 
Oh, there we go. Look at it. Bring him up here, buddy. There you go. It's I'm a it, uh, again. That was so interesting. There, you know, he came up three or four times. Yep. Then he left, went down and bounced that bottom a couple of times, and then he came hard and hit it. Yeah. Having that helmet bird to watch that. It's, it's fun, and it. you know, even use even using the locator in four or five feet of water. You know, at least you know when there's fish there. Yeah, you know? I just caught one sitting on my ETV. Feels like a pretty good perch here. Oh yeah, that is nice. You know, you fish out of here a lot with Tim, and you guys actually do a lot of steelhead guiding together, right? Correct, correct. And uh, you enjoy this perch fishing like I do? I do. I love my perch fishing in the wintertime. Yeah, and uh, hold them up, I mean. And how do you fix them at home for the kids? Uh, I like to do mine in uh, crushed saltine crackers with a little bit of seasoning salt, dip them in a little bit of uh, oil, let them fry up, and uh, they're delicious. Ooh, that you're going to make that for us tonight? Well, it depends. All right, no, <laughs> nice fish. Hey, look at that. My buddy Wes Paul hey, from Get Johnson pumped how are you buddy doing good uh well get him as he oh there you go that's a nice one yeah i'm gonna show the folks at home i've right. already seen a lot of perch how you been pal I've been good i've been good good holiday yeah i'm out fishing so this is great no i called west this morning i said we're going to green bay perch fishing and you didn't have any work to do or what happened uh, i got it done quickly oh so I could go. <laughs> uh, I mean, that's that's a nice one, isn't it? Now, you ate them out of here last oh, year. Yeah. How are they? They were unbelievably good. good. Yeah. They were just great. Yeah. They actually fed the whole neighborhood. Ooh, Bob. You put all right next to me there, buddy. Ooh, there's, no, oh, Tim. That's a beautiful perch yeah, right there. Look at, the look at that. on that thing. They're black. It, it, kind of interesting that, you know, I'm using that, that Castmaster spoon, but a lot of guys are just using these tungsten jigs, huh? Tim, is that true? Yeah. Yeah. How'd that one hit you pretty That's good? Nice. Yeah, that is a beautiful fish, that buddy. One thumped it. And as we get later in the year, you know, that late February stuff, you catch a lot of those, don't you? Yep. That's a beauty. Nice job, Bob. Thank you. Hey, Tim, while I got you here, you know, folks want to come up to the O'Connell area and do some perch fishing. There's a bait shop up here that, that really keeps tabs on what's going on, right? Yeah, North Shore Bait and Tackle in O'Connell is where I get all my bait. It's a great place to go. It's nice supporting local business. Good and, place. And he gives you information? Great information. He'll tell yeah, ice conditions and stuff. He makes sure everybody's safe. Name again is? North Shore Bait and Tackle. North Shore Bait and Tackle. But hey, what the heck, man? If I was going to come perch fish and I'll hire you as a guide, you got those nice shacks and you're all set to go. Heck yeah. We're ready to take you out. Breaking news from Flea Farm. Check out this deal. Save $70 in the Ion 8-inch ice auger with reverse on sale for $449.99. Each week, I shop online at FleetFarm.com to check out the latest deals. This week, save $15 on the Abu Garcia Ambassador S Baitcast Reel on sale for $69.99. And save $30 on the Lakes and Rivers three-person ice fishing shelter on sale for $199.99. Oh, Wes has got another one, Tim. Let's see what he's got here. And, ooh, there you go, Wes. Tim, come on in here, buddy. One thing I wanted to ask you, you know, when you when you guide for the perch trips, how many people can you guys handle on a trip? We can run up to a dozen people. If they let us know, we could probably do better than that. And you got all the equipment for yes, everybody? Yes, we do. That's, those tip-downs are kind of nice, so if a guy hires you, he can just sit and watch the tip-ups and go and run and catch a perch. Yep, we have some tip-downs, panfish tip-ups, tip-ups for pike. We have a little bit of everything spread out. Now, Automatic Wes, you've fishing. fished with him before. Yeah, it's last year we did good. really well. Oh, that, I mean, that's Look at that. Yeah, there you go. Here, 10 minutes, two nice perch. Seneca, I thought you had to go to work. Yeah, uh, there, yeah. yeah he works at, where, where is Sean O'Ware? Oh, oh, little rapids. <laughs> yeah, that's not a bad one there. Look at that, Jolly. Nice what are you eating? Some, he's got some goose sausage over there. <laughs> yeah, you know, bring Jolly out. All he does, he eats a Johnsonville, then goose sausage, and I saw him munching a cookie before. I'm hungry. <laughs> for a workout here. Ooh, you just set that. He just set this one, Tim. Yeah. All right, I just oh, had to. Uh, oh, oh, there's a jumboitis right there. Tim, you look at that, buddy. And so when clients come and fish with you, you can just set these tip-ups and they just sit in a shack and, and wait for them to go off, huh? Absolutely. If they want to just sit and watch autos and pan fish tip-ups and tip-downs, or they can do that or jig. You've done a good job with your tip-downs today, you know I'm that? I'm trying hard. I'm trying hard. They worked well today. No, I mean, you guys, you and Brett's got five out? 
Yeah, five out. Yeah. Two of us. Yeah. yeah. That, isn't that a beautiful fish, man? Yeah, that's a dandy. That's what everybody wants right there. Thing. Look at the shoulders. Yeah. Folks, good news. The Fleet Farm John Gillespie's Waters and Woods 2022 fishing contest is underway right now. To enter is simple. Just go to any Fleet Farm store to pick up an entry blank or go to fleetfarm.com and download an entry blank. Folks, this new Seaguar Ice X line is absolutely incredible. This new ice line has low memory, it's micro diameter so the fish can't see it, and it provides exceptional knot strength. It has unparalleled abrasion resistance even on the coldest of days. Oh, oh my god! Nice job! That's a nice one! And it's extremely sensitive, helping you detect more bites and catch more fish. Learn more at Seaguar.com. Security meets mobility. Introducing the Ascent Float Suit by Clam Outdoors. Finally, a float suit that provides the security of flotation with the benefit of flexibility. Our exclusive motion float technology utilizes a segmented system that gives anglers unrestricted movement on the ice. And the Ascent Float Suit offers the same maximum breathability and warmth that you expect from Ice Armor by Clam. Security, mobility, ascent. Pursue the ice. On that two inch hyper hammer, look at that. This bait has three super unique features. The built-in glass rattle, it's a play off the of Google Eye Jig series that's been phenomenal for open water walleyes, incorporating it now in a jigging minnow for ice fishing and open water. The brass slider, which is the hammer in the middle that slides back and forth, so you have a glass rattle and a hammer pin going back and forth making two different types of unique noises and then the third feature which is the most unique is a soft tail that rotates up and down to give it two different types of actions and again you can change out that tail to a whole bunch of different colors <laughs> whoa right there we go there's another nice perch right there folks i'll tell you this has really been a fantastic day and uh, we were just talking about it before to have a perch fishery like this that's so close to milwaukee and chicago is is really a treat and uh as tim said he guides out here every day he said most days you're gonna you know get close to your limit which is 15. not a bad fish hey mike's got one on over here tyler Ooh, Mike, that, oh, is that a dandy there, buddy? Hey, Tyler, take a look at that, buddy. Is that, now, is that unusually big, Tyler? No, no, there's a nice number of those size perch mixed in throughout the day. Now, I want to tell folks, too, you know, you come up here for the perch fishing, which everybody does, but there's also some pretty good northern pike fishing up here, too? Yep, yep, and closer to the weed flats uh, in the evening and the morning, the, the pike really get active. And that's something that we may try tomorrow? Yeah, that might be an option for tomorrow morning. Look at that, Mike. That's, he, you know, he brought a bunch of cookies. What's your wife's name? Kaylin. Kaylin, thank you for all the treats. What did she bring? She brought everything. The snackle box, buddy. The snackle box. I <laughs> like that. And there was chocolate and cookies. A little bit of everything. Cheese, crackers, uh, goose sausage, who was that? That's right. Goose yeah. sausage. Yeah, hold that up. Hold that up. That's not a pretty fish. Yep, that's Just awesome. gorgeous. Hey, it's Red Hot Sam again, you guys. Red Hot Sam. And let's see here, Sam. All right, buddy. Is he coming? Oh, there's a nice one. Look at that. I mean, I mean you guys, when you think about it, this is world-class perch fishing, isn't it? Absolutely. I mean, Tim, when you think of all the places in the Midwest, you know, and the nice thing, as I said earlier in the program, being so close to Milwaukee and Chicago, to be able to do this, and guys can come up and actually do it in one day, can't they, Tim? Absolutely. It's just a three-hour trip from Chicago, and you can be here and on the perch with us, pike, walleyes, whatever you want. Hey, Wes, I'll tell you what. We have caught a ton, ton of perch today, buddy. You know that? Ooh, let's see that. Well, getting these stuck on the bottom hole. Oh, there's a nice one. But you know, I was, we started out this morning before you got here, we struggled. And boy, she's turned on, hasn't she's it? She's turned on. Yeah, it's been a lot of fish in the short amount of time I've been here. Oh, darn, I forgot to put the promo in. My buddy Pete Maynard and I are going to be at Kettle Marine in Jackson, Wisconsin, showing off the Campion Rage boat. We're going to serve Johnsonville's, and we'll talk fishing from 11 to 3. Again, that is January 22nd at Kettle Marine in Jackson, Wisconsin. Oh, there's my buddy Stiff Rod. You know, 
Tim, come on, you gotta meet this guy. He always uses the stiffest rod, <laughs> and he catches a lot of fish, though. Let's see, stiff rod, what we got coming in here. What's well, the first Well, nice hurry one up, I have man. Today, oh, that is a nice one, yeah. yeah there you go. You guys have not been catching a lot of fish? Uh, we caught a lot of fish, but a lot of small ones. Did today. you? Yeah. But, uh, you guys did really well. Well, there. you know, we're only about 100 yards away, but yeah. you know, that can make, we had to make one move today, right, yeah, Tim? We did make a, about a 200 yard move, maybe a little more than that. But yeah, we made it a little couple feet deeper water and it's been hot since we got here. Yeah, so when you're guiding, you may have to move one or two times. Yeah, it happens. They're like nomads. You got to move around and find them some days. Look at Jeff over here. He's sitting about 10 feet away from me. Ooh, that stiff rod is making a little bit of vibration there, Tim. Ooh, Ooh look at this guy. <laughs> Holy cow, there you go. Now, Jeff, I've, you've fished with me many times. How do you hold a fish so the people at home can see it? Well, we can take you them and put them in the lip. Grab them by the lip. Yeah, there you, there you go. And you look hold them that. out so they look bigger, right? Yeah. That's the old trick. That is a dandy. This, and this perch fishing's a blast. That's fun. Yeah. This is really good fishing. Yeah, it is. You guys did really well today. Tim Maher guides the Bay of Green Bay out of Ocano on a daily basis. For more information, give Tim a call. The phone number is 920-604-4169. 604-4169. The top features for the fishermen are the large casting decks that we have on board of the boat. We also have the highest end electronics available to the fishermen that he would really appreciate as well as air ride seating, things like that, really make your day on the water comfortable. Tons of room for your graphs, large live wells, bait tanks, everything is easily accessible. Hey folks, good news, you can now see the Campion Rage. My boat is on display at Kettle Marine, Jackson, Wisconsin. Uh, oh, Pete, I'm getting too old for this. So, John, you haven't heard of Brian's Custom Steps? Oh, Pete, those are awesome. How can I get a set? Yeah, I love these big no-slip platforms, and they're made right here in Wisconsin. For more information on Brian's Custom Steps, call 920-315-0333. Hey folks, what a great day of perch fishing. And I'll tell you what, Tim, we didn't start fishing until what time? About 10 o'clock. 10 this morning until four. And you take a look at all those perch we caught and you'd say this is an average day? Yeah, this is a pretty good day. I mean, it, you, sometimes it's a lot more fast and furious than it was. Like it was tonight, that's how it starts out. You got openings? Yes, I do. Well, the, the people should call. give you a call, man. It's an awesome deal, isn't it? Absolutely. And folks, that is our show for today. Please join us next week. I don't know, we're gonna fish it. We'll find a place somewhere. Until then, I'm John Gillespie, hoping to see you enjoying John Gillespie's Waters and Woods.